Blue Sky Plan contains all the treatment planning tools to make placement and control of implants, abutments, and virtual teeth very intuitive. It is recommended to have the proposed site viewable in the panel or cross sections prior to placing the implant. To add an implant, click on the Add New Implant icon. From the window, select the manufacturer from the drop down, choose the type, platform, and the implant. To add an abutment, click on the Abutment tab on the top, click Select Abutment if not already selected, then choose the abutment desired. Click OK. Place the cursor in the appropriate position and click to drop down the implant. The implant can be repositioned by directly dragging it or dragging along the circular widget in order to rotate. Right clicking on the implant will bring a drop down menu with additional options. To add virtual teeth, click on the Add Tooth icon. Select the correct geometry set, either with roots or without. Select the size. Click on the desired tooth or multiple teeth by holding the shift, then click OK. Position the cursor in the desired location to drop the tooth down onto the image. A tooth can be repositioned by directly dragging it or rotating along the circular widget. Double clicking on the virtual tooth will open the virtual tooth panel with additional options. A virtual tooth and an implant may be placed at the same time. In the Add Tooth window, select a tooth, click on the Implant checkbox at the lower right, select the implant, and click OK. Click OK in the Add Tooth window, and click on the image in order to place the tooth and implant simultaneously. Additional functionality is available in Blue Sky Plan that will greatly facilitate treatment planning. Customized implants can be created by clicking on the Add New Implant icon. Click on Custom Implant, then enter values for length, apical diameter, occlusal diameter, and then click OK to place the implant. To add a custom abutment, click on the Abutment tab, select Custom, and enter values for length, diameter, and angle. Click OK to place the implant with the custom abutment. To control implant and implant related objects, open the implant panel by going to Panels, Implant List. The visibility of the objects can be toggled on or off by clicking either the object image or the specific checkbox. For implants, abutments, and guide tubes. To lock implants, click on the lock icon or the individual checkbox for the specific implant. The ID box is clicked in order to toggle the implant ID number on or off in the 2D and 3D views. The implant ID can be edited by double clicking on the number in the ID box and keying in the desired alphanumeric character. Clicking on the X will delete the implant from the treatment plan. To set parameters for proximity or collision detection settings, click the Panels menu and Implant Validation. In the Implant Validation panel, edit the fields as necessary in order to control the distances that warnings will be issued. Implants that violate proximity settings will appear with an exclamation mark and will list in the Implant Validation panel under Invalid Implants.